Hi, I'm Jay from Aquastar Distributors, here to talk to you today about a low-profile vacuum generator, or sometimes called a VG3. A couple things to be aware of when you go to maintain it. This job is not for everyone. You might get a little waste on you, and if you're having second thoughts, give me a call. I'll get you in touch with a certified repair facility or t technician that can come down and do a repair for you. If you do decide to do it yourself, the most common maintenance item on a VG3 is gonna be the four inch and a half duckbill valves. Now, when you go to change them, you're gonna to wanna to shut your system down, flush your toilet, get all the vacuum out of the system, unscrew the nipples. Just make sure that they're all pointing toward your holding tank, away from this accumulator tank. Now, the vacuum switch is another maintenance item. It's located underneath this cover. Might be a little challenging to get the cover off, you simply pinch in the middle, put that aside. If you've adjusted this brass nut, unfortunately, you're gonna have to replace your vacuum switch. These switches are calibrated at the factory, and if your system is not achieving optimal vacuum, it's gonna be more prone to issues and cause you headaches over time. Another maintenance item are gonna be these inch and a half uniseals located on the accumulator tank, as well as a motor, bellows, and one or two O-rings located inside the pump. If you're looking for parts or service, visit us on the web or give us a call. Thanks.